120 is a class where we were split up into teams and each team has a different project. So what's been the next steps in terms of getting this kind of together? A client comes in and says to Dr. Satterback, hey, I want this to be done, I want this to be built. If you can build a short segment and at least show, again, proof of concept. Can your students do this? And Dr. Satterback looks over the client's proposal and essentially gives these design projects to teams of freshmen. We created a floor ladder for the Pediatric Therapy Center to help children with disabilities learn to walk on uneven surfaces. The thing about NG120 is you get to start engineering things right off the bat. Right now what we're doing is we're loading the hay into the feeder so then we can hang it up for the giraffes. I think it's been really fun to kind of think about something that already exists in a completely new different way. Our name is Comfortably Numb and the story behind that is that we are tasked with numbing the skin immediately before an injection. I've definitely learned a lot from this class because it's, there was so much trial and error. Um, partly because we were a freshman design class and partly just because that's how engineering works. We never would have thought that we would be building a robotic arm for an actual patient. We would be helping people. Like when you come to college, it's not the first thing you think of. This day is just amazing. It's, uh, it's the accumulation of all our hard work and uh, everything since NG120. I came to Texas for RISE. You know, I come to a class where I'm engineering and I'm just like, well, this is what I really like to do. I love engineering, you know. And then we come and we are pitched a project where it's, hey, let's help out with this community that needs this, you know, they need the help. What do you think of your team that built this for you? Are you pretty happy? Mm-hmm. Will it, what will it, what will it do for you? Help me walk.